they were just, you just hear a lot of background music, background noise behind la. Then I'm just like, oh my god. Then I always ask, uh, can, can you guys like keep your volume down a little bit? And then they are like, why? Then I just like, <laughs> Hi, I'm Fauzi. I'm Zane. Hi, Mas. Hi, I'm Leah, and this is Zula Chick Chats. Hi, guys, and welcome to today's episode of Zula Chick Chats. And we have a few special guests here, <laughs> and today we'll be talking about uh, the whole circuit breaker period, actually, and how it was like staying at home twenty four seven, dealing with your family, and also like maybe some of your own personal struggles or good things and bad things about it. Uh, what was your overall experience like for everybody? Like, okay, so like I guess initially the idea of staying at home and working from home seems very appealing, right? Everybody seemed to think like, wow, actually that sounds like an ideal situation. Uh, that is that you don't have to travel so much. Um, basically, you live and you work at the same place. But that's also where it got problematic. I was like, basically waking up, going to the toilet, going back to my room to do yeah. work, and then just kind of living in that space. Lah. And after a while, it got very frustrating because I felt like um, very stuck. There's activities that I'm constantly used to and switching these activities to online like online classes right, is not the same. Suddenly, all the things that I've always loved doing, I couldn't do, like going for musical theatre classes. So I feel like, what the heck, what, do I, I felt like maybe I wasn't as productive as I used to be. Yeah. So would you say that you've got cabin fever? Because the way that A little bit, a little it, bit, a little bit. I don't know, I just feel like I'm not stimulated enough. <laughs> no, I don't, I, 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 don't know, I personally understand. Right, I feel the same way as Pao when I was at home. So yeah. like, usually I'm that kind of person that from 9am or even earlier and then all the way to 11pm I'm out of mm. the house. And mm. I'm so used to that lifestyle. It was really very frustrating because I felt like I was eating, I was sweating, I was doing everything right. in that one space. Right. I got insomnia for like one whole month, it was oh, really bad. Oh, I used to be able to KO instantly. Yes. And it was very challenging because I felt like the lines between like working and Everything else in my life was completely blurred. Mm. Yes, yes. Mm. But then, yeah. were you like the kind that you were always out of the house previously also? I was. Okay. And it's always because of distance. Because mm. I mean, my days are not as productive as some of them because they, they do go for their trainings, their classes. Like, after work, I cannot go for anywhere because I have to go home two hours, one and a half hours just to commute back. So, the fact that this circuit breaker, I was able to really, like, okay, you know what? Like, I'm at home, I'm doing my own stuff. I got to be selfish for myself mm. yeah, yeah. and I got to do things that I like to do and I became even more productive as compared to them. Now I can wake up at like 8.30 and still make breakfast, yeah. still meditate, still do a 10 minute workout and be on time for work. Yeah. Suddenly my lifestyle changed completely because mm. I was able to do things on my own. For myself, I think I was quite productive in the sense that I took up new hobbies. Yeah, because like Twitch is it? Is <laughs> it <laughs> gaming? No. Yes, it's gaming. <laughs> Ah, 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 I found my computer and I'm like, oh, actually I have this game, I never played for them, no, I bought it like a long time ago. Then I just happened to text like, uh, wow, well, uh, colleagues in the office early. Then I just say like, hey, you know I have this game, do you know, do you have it, do you want to play this? And then somehow we found a community to play like every yeah. night. I was productive in a different sense, not from my usual hobbies, but finding new things to do mm. or trying new things that I've always wanted to do but I never did it during this, during the time I'm more busy. La. I think actually for some of you, do you all have any like struggles you all face when you are kind of staying at home? So, okay, maybe we can start off with like family. Okay, but... okay family, sure. Yeah. That's one of my favourite things about um, living at home is that food is always available and fruits are always available. My <laughs> mom will insist on like knocking on my door, do you want some fruits? <laughs> Lunch time and dinner time. But I think because my dad also works from home, uh, it gets frustrating because my dad, he does have to call a lot of seniors and talk to them. I'm not the kind that will listen to music. I like complete silence when I oh. right. I'm that kind of person. So sometimes they this inadvertently intrude your space or intrude yeah. your kind of your mm. your mind space yeah, in yeah, that yeah. sense. It took me a while to get used to it lah, and realize like it dawned on me that I should really like just kind of shift my mindset out of that negative space. No, for mine it's like completely opposite. Yeah, I mean... Oh my god! Like okay, legit. Wow. Okay, like literally my parents don't even know what I'm doing. Huh? For the past two years, 
But because I'm working from home, now they are able to see like what I do on a daily basis. Because they are like thinking, oh shoot, shoot what? Because I always go out for a shoot, ma. Ah, then okay. I will come back tired and then I won't even say anything about it. But then now it's like they see how much effort it takes to just film a photo, like to just film a vlog. To a point where by they were like, okay la, let us help you. So my dad actually so got some camera equipment from his office and then we would like DIY okay. the stand because it's like those old tripod stands. Oh so we would try to change it to put like the cat like the phone handle and the lights. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. And then the best part was it was an ebook shoot. Uh I think to eat coriander for 72 hours. Fuck. My mom helped me to set up the kitchen all. To me, it's very refreshing because now because traditional parents they don't really understand what media working in the media industry is like, right? So now it's like they're like, oh okay. How about you, man? Anything. I feel like it's... Okay, so my family is very big, right? We have yeah. five yeah. women staying together. <laughs> and the only one who I can describe this, right, is an like estrogen bomb hall. Come to think of it, right? My whole family, we are very used to being... Um, like, I think once all of us reach tertiary education onwards, we kind of like carved our own life. So I think we have to get used to, like, firstly staying together. Mm. And then, like, everyone is working. I could bring my work stuff home, like, so my desktop yeah. and everything, so I could yeah. work inside my room. Yeah. But then outside in the living room, right, you have, like, my sister, then my mom is there as well, and then my other sister. three of them sharing the that living space. And then, like, they would, you would just hear a lot of background music, background noise behind her. Then I'm just like, oh my god. Then I always ask her, can, can you guys, like, keep your volume down a little bit? And then they are like, what? Then I just like... Silence on set. Why? They're like, why our house cannot talk? Then I just... Oh. Oh. <laughs> but I think like, what I really treasure a lot about this time was the fact that we kind of got family time to spend. Mm. Yeah. Like yeah. We play, now we play mahjong every weekend. So I think for myself, uh, my family is a kind that at home we are also very independent. So yeah. we just stick in our own rooms and we have enough space to just like be by ourselves. You know your mom is like, they talk and they're like, okay, maybe it's softer, that kind of thing. Then they're like, yeah. why do not? But for my house, it's like, it's, I cannot do whatever I want. Right? So the night I make noise, I'll get scolded. Then yeah. I just like, oh, I'm just playing my game. Like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Luckily, my room is like, in our space. I feel that if someone was in this environment also, mm. where they're very stifled by like their parents, what their parents want from them, yeah. or like very restricted by what they want, then it would be a very unpleasant place to be in. I mean, like, I love my mom and everything, but it's like, sometimes yeah. it's just like in the house environment, it's yeah. just not, it's just different. I think aside from dealing with family, yeah. um, I think maybe personally your mental health, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, did, did you all have struggles with this or was it okay for you all? There was a period of time when my, my OCD really kicked in. It became so serious that every time I sat on my desk, right, I would analyze every single thing that's on my desk and make sure it's like straight. Oh my god. I think it was towards the mid of the circuit breaker mm. when it was like two weeks in, it started to get like that onset of like, wow, shit, I really like hate being here. So every time I felt like um, I was incessantly kind of moving things around, I had to like step out of my room and like just walk outside. So that in general, was personally something I I, I hated la, mm. about the experience. Mine was like completely opposite. <laughs> yeah, I feel like yeah, deal with life differently. Yeah, in I think sense. so. Before this, right, everything was very rushed for me. Mm -hmm. Let's say even if I have conflicts with my partner, for example, right, I would not be able to think about it. So the fact that I was able to stay at home, right, there were a lot more boundaries being set for me to be able to really reconnect with my soul and like think about okay they're just argument okay let's find a way to think about this because I'm in my own space ma when I, I mentioned I had insomnia right so yeah. like what did I do when I didn't sleep I ended up working I was so awake that I was thinking about what was going to happen yes then I decided that you know what since I can't sleep and tomorrow morning I'll probably be tired oh my god let me just schedule so you know I you know how I schedule a lot of messages yeah. like so if everyone's been receiving messages from me at 9, 9 or 8 chances are I did that last night mm -hmm. and then I've just been mess setting every day I feel that some of the external parties we work with, they're also doing this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I do not receive like, a lot more emails like yeah. past, past 9, past that. Past 100%. Nine. So suddenly, right, it kind of breeds that whole, um, like, suddenly work becomes like that. Yeah. Like, working thing becomes like that. I think yeah. I've had to re-evaluate what work-life balance means. Like, do I really need to do so many things in my lifetime? Here and yeah. there. I think I'm quite similar to you in the sense yeah. that like I try to fill up a lot of time my mm. extra time doing things that are productive. Yeah. Be it my hobbies or like even going out and meeting friends. Just that I didn't realise how much time I was spending meeting there and how much time I was not spending on myself. And I think TV has like kind of taught all of us that you know you can still be at, stay at Shit. home and be okay. Okay, I think like this is just more of a question for my like for you guys who are in relationships. So I always wondered like how whether it was challenging for you as couples are like because I do have friends who like Break up during CV or like, <laughs> yeah, or like you yeah. have you know people who break up. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. 
know like the five types of ways to show affection? Yes, yes. One of them is like physical touch. Uh, okay. <laughs> so if they don't if like they don't get the physical touch, right, they become like crazy a bit. Uh, As in what if you just got into a relationship like it before oh, yeah, then, then, yeah. then it's gonna be very difficult. I think maybe yeah. the issue here is maybe in terms of like love languages, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So for example, my sister and her boyfriend together for like about three years. His business is kind of based in Europe, so they work in Europe time. So he's always working till super super late. But then my sister has to work Singapore hours. Mm. Sometimes they don't communicate as much as she hopes. Yeah. The good thing is that they're still together. It's just that I think she did struggle quite a bit, yeah. which is why I was also wondering if other people felt the same way. For me, it was very manageable. Mm. Uh, mainly because I I got I wasn't bored. I think what we did was focus on ourselves more mm. than like the other party yeah. which is also great lah honestly I feel mm. just a concluding statement is more so like I think different couples have different yeah. Yeah. Uh, not just yeah. languages but also personalities I think we can end up the video with some advice mm -hmm. uh, for our audience uh, moving forward in phase 2 mm. what, what are some things that you can take note of lah I think what's important is to still always practice like safe distancing yeah. and just keeping yourself safe lah. You know, like you're sick, please allow. Mm. Like just, just like just do yourself a favor and do everyone else a favor. So yeah. yeah. I guess another takeaway or moving forward in phase two is like the kanjong lah. You know, like actually I want to say like mm. the everybody go and buy the luxury goods. Then I just like oh, hey. is it life threatening for you to not own? Gucci bag, a Gucci bag, an LV. I'm trying to understand like yeah. what is their thought, what is their thought impression, process, right? their thought yeah. process. For me, right, I'm the kind that I cannot do online shopping. Is that why? Maybe people cook maybe, up at home, yeah, maybe then they keep why. looking at the website, right? They're like, okay, I need to go and see this bag. I honestly think like people should reevaluate their purchases and at least like think about like putting those that money to a better cause. I agree. There yeah. are a lot of people who actually really do need help yeah. at this point. Yeah. Or support local businesses. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They, need, they need it the most, especially your hawkers, your yeah. online bakeries. Yeah. Yeah. Like CSL, F&B delivery, um, yeah. 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 plug in the, plug in the description. <laughs> no, I, if you're <laughs> So thank you guys for watching this video and if you have any experiences to share about your own uh, circuit breaker at home, please share in the comments down below and also let us know what else to talk about next time. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe! Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. Bye.